true. Mm -hmm. But why did they say that? Because Raila stood up and said Kibaki Tosha, mm -hmm. and all the votes, his votes, were transferred to mm -hmm. uh, retired president. Okay, Mwai so Kibaki. Honorable Kira, yeah. now that Honorable Raila Odinga has been appointed to the yeah. AU a special yeah. envoy for infrastructure yeah. development, yeah. don't you think that he now needs to focus on that and leave politics? You, you, you know, politics and even what he's doing is actually a political thing. You, you, you see. Is supposed to mobilize uh, the goodwill of various nations and you know politics is the web that ties all of us there is no way you can run away from politics and uh, Raila you cannot expect him to be a political and um, as I said Dr. Zuma mm -hmm. was the chair of AU for a certain period mm -hmm. she went back home to run she may not have won but she presented her candidacy uh, with a lot of credentials. So being at the AU, there's no contradiction in my opinion. I was a special envoy at a lower level. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was an eager special envoy to Somalia on peace and national reconciliation. Mm -hmm. But it never stopped me coming back home and playing the political role that I'm playing today. Mm -hmm. So it is a job, it is an assignment that I, and I think let us make Kenyans realize it's not a full-time job. As a special envoy, is going to be doing special assignments. Mm -hmm. When there is a stalemate in a situation, he goes there mm -hmm. uh, with that uh, profile of his. And uh, when he unlocks all these, the countries will continue mm -hmm. implementing the programs okay. that they have. Okay. Before I bring Elizabeth into this uh, to, to give us um, her feedback on yeah. the question I want to ask you, yeah. you're from NC Party, yes. Deputy Party leader, yeah. and NC forms NASA. Yes. And there has been concern that NASA is actually falling apart, Ac not even actually falling apart, it might fall apart, yeah. <laughs> owing to the fact that Raila has now been appointed as a special envoy of, mm -hmm. of infrastructure development. Uh, far from it, I, I think what happened is that um, we formed NASA almost on the eve of elections. You remember, even by April, we are not uh, we had not been clear on who was going to be our presidential candidate, and I was involved in a lot of negotiations, uh, ending up with the choice of Prime Minister Raila as our candidate, and there was very little bonding because you see some of the candidates had run against each other in the past, and therefore we are trying to cure that bad blood, and now move into a united front. And the elections almost d disrupted all of us. And back from elections, there was some uh, competition in house committees and many other places. And that has jolted NASA mm -hmm. to a certain extent, especially after the swearing in of Prime Minister Raila uh, early this year and the and subsequent handshake. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the hitches that uh, we've been seeing. But we are sure, as NASA, our vision was to unite this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember even after the uh, abortive elections in July, in August, and the subsequent uh, second election of the president mm -hmm. in October, where we boycotted, there was need for dialogue. Mm -hmm. That dialogue is not just a dialogue with other parties, mm -hmm. even within our house. Mm -hmm. That dialogue is continuous. Mm -hmm. And my party leader, I can say, without fear of contradiction, is very desirous of a united front, mm -hmm. not only for NASA, but for the whole country. So as you speak, you're confirming to us I'm that confir NASA, is, it is, NASA is intact, and yes. it will still remain to be intact despite uh, Honorable Odinga's appointment to the AU. Yes, it will remain intact. You okay. see, when you go weeding maize, mm -hmm. you may find that uh, some, uh, you may knock each other in the process, mm -hmm. but you don't stop weeding. Okay. Yeah. Elizabeth, what do you have to say? Um, I think I would say that uh, the appointment in the, uh, on the position, sorry, of the African Union is not a full-time job. Um, I think it involves a lot of lobbying, mm -hmm. um, basically because AU is funded with donors. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, most of the states that signed um, or signatory to the African Union are supposed to contribute money to help mm -hmm. it run but that has not been happening and I stand to be corrected mm -hmm. and uh, for that reason they lack funding so I believe the job of uh, Honorable Raila would be probably to lobby uh, basically today we are looking at China has played a big role in Africa 
and funded almost every corner. And probably that's why Washington also woke up mm -hmm. and decided that we have to come in. Otherwise, the Chinese will take over mm -hmm. um, these uh, soft loans that, you know, they're giving to Africa. So he would have to lobby a lot um, with these nations to try and get uh, funding, okay. even through NEPAD, mm -hmm. to, for the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. That still gives him time to politic. Mm -hmm. And why do I say that? I think um, when we had the mock inauguration or swearing in of uh, President Reiner, that was in January, yes. about January 30th. Yes. And at that time, you saw that his counterparts, and I would say that, they just disappeared. No, no, they just be seen. vanished. <laughs> <laughs> you were crazy. It was, it was very sad. <laughs> yeah, was because sad I, he was, uh, yeah, because I mean, every every um, NASA supporter who attended that function yes. yeah. expected to see Mudavadi, expected to see Correct. Alonso. All, all the, yes. And, and it, I felt it was really sad mm -hmm. because when you walk as a team, even I'm sure here where you work in KTN, you have your team. And when you decide to do something and your team doesn't show up, you're completely flustered. Mm -hmm. Any human being would be. And at that point, I asked myself one question. How sincere <laughs> are these partners? Because why would you let me down at my, you know, lowest moment, as yeah. I would put it? But he went ahead and did the swearing in, OK? And then they all started jostling for 2022. Mushima yeah. we could yeah. see it. Yeah. Everybody was thinking about me, I, and myself. And everybody was trying <coughs> to find a position and almost discarding him. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, a lot of people said, yes, all these other people have got appointments that they go to offices to. Mm -hmm. He ends up in his office in Capitol uh, at, uh, in Upper Hill. But uh, this appointment, I feel, brings him back or he springs back on the political platform. Why? He has a voice. He has a say. Mm -hmm. He also did his partners in, mm -hmm. and I think we'll agree to that, <laughs> because he went and made an agreement with the president okay. and didn't inform any of them. Mm -hmm. So today he's at a different platform. Then you find all the others, and I will not say about mm -hmm. uh, your party leader, but mm -hmm. we can see Honorable Calonzo saying, I also want to go and meet the president. Okay. Then another one rocks up. Uh, Honorable Wetangula, I also want an appointment with the president. Why is it so important to meet the president? Okay. Well, <laughs> some, of this, uh, <laughs> some of these NASA leaders want to meet the president. And this is what President Uhuru Kenyatta in his Masjidade address reiterated that Raila Odinga's role will also benefit Kenya in terms of infrastructure development. Here's what he had to say. <laughs> Raila akienda kwa hiyo kazi unafikiria tasahau mabarabara zetu hapa Kenya.